Rotational moulding is a process that has been applied to plastics for over 70 years and it involves heating a hollow mould filled with plastic powder which is then slowly rotated around two perpendicular axes. The plastic melts within the mould and, due to the rotational movement, creates an even coating throughout the tool to form a hollow finished shape. In this video, we'll show you how the process works from beginning to end by moulding a polyethylene racing boat which is produced for the UK company RS Sailing by Rotatech. The RS Racing Sailing Boat is unique in its design due to using a three-layer moulding structure to give strength without adding unnecessary weight to the finished product. The boat is moulded using three different materials from matrix polymers. A super linear polyethylene is used for the outside layer because it is a stiff material which is also scratch resistant. A foaming polyethylene is used for the middle layer. This adds thickness to the wall of the boat, but without the same weight as a solid layer of plastic would. Finally, a layer of standard general purpose polyethylene is added to seal the inside of the boat and give it a smooth finish. All the materials used in this production have been designed specifically for rotational moulding applications by Matrix Polymers technical team in the UK. The first step of the process is to ensure that the mould is clean from previous production and to prepare the tool for the polyethylene powder to be added. Next, a specially designed graphic sticker is placed on the mould wall itself using an adhesive spray. The graphic itself is made from plastic and will cook and mould into the finished wall of the boat, giving it an attractive logo design that cannot be peeled off or removed, unlike a standard adhesive sticker. This gives us a much more superior finish in comparison to sticking a label onto the plastic after production. The production team are now adding various metal inserts to the mould. Similar to the graphic logo, the plastic powder will melt and form around these metal parts during the rotational moulding process, so they are completely integrated into the design. These metal inserts are required for screwing additional parts into the finished boat, such as sails or ropes. Next, the first of the matrix polymers material is added to the mould. This is the super linear product, which will form the outside of the product. The material is simply added to the mould by hand by one of the production operators. The mould is then closed and locked tightly using clamps which are part of the mould design itself. The tool is moved into the oven for its cooking cycle and the arm begins to rotate to move the powder within the mould. The cooking time and the temperature is determined by the product that is being made. All rotational moulders spend a significant amount of time testing moulding conditions before making a new product to find the optimum conditions to achieve the best results in terms of quality. Although we cannot see inside the oven once the doors have closed, the polyethylene will be melting and due to the rotating movement of the tool, the plastic will be coating the inside of the mould and forming the shape of the boat. The first layer has now finished its initial cooking cycle and the tool is being brought out of the oven for the next layer of plastic to be added. The operators are using a special tool which operates like a funnel to drop the foam material into the middle of the boat inside the first layer of plastic which has already formed from the initial cooking cycle. The boat tool is now returned to the oven once more for the foam cycle to be completed. With the foam cycle now finished, the tool is brought back out of the oven for the final shot of plastic powder to be added, which will form the third and final layer of the inside of the boat. This is added in the same way as the second layer material, using the funnel tool. The boat tool is returned to the oven again for the final part of the cooking cycle. All of the cooking within the oven is now complete and the tool is brought out to carry out a cooling phase. This cooling period is a very important part of the rotational moulding process, as it is during this time 
that the chemical composition of the plastic crystallizes and gives the product strength when finished. Once the cooling period is over, the tool can be carefully opened to reveal the product inside. It will still be very hot to touch and the operators will have to use safety equipment to carry out this task. The boat can now be moved to a different area of the production room for quality testing. Here you can see an operator using special equipment to check that the different parts of the boat are the required thickness. This is crucial to the performance and safety of the boat when it is on the water. Sometimes a rotationally moulded product may require trimming with a knife. Where the two parts of the mould join in the oven, powder can build up between the seal and form an extra line which is not desired in the finished product. The operator now is carrying out all of the last finishing processes, adding any post-production elements, such as fittings and ropes, and checking that the boat passes all of the stringent requirements for both aesthetic and performance quality. The boat is now finished and moves to the final stage of the warehouse for packing and wrapping. The operator here is using a special kind of shrink wrap, which is heated to mould perfectly around the boat's shape and will protect it during transportation. The boats are now stacked onto a metal racking system for storage in the RS Racing Warehouse, where they can be loaded onto a truck for final delivery to the lucky customer.